this video is kind of pointing out that a lot of times when we're reading scripture, we're not seeing the time frame of what's going on, and we're not relating that nothing's really new under the sun. Uh, the time of the early Christians, the time of the apostles, the time of uh, these writers, and even the time of Jesus Christ when he was speaking, um, he was surrounded by the same civil Roman system that we're experiencing today. And therefore, uh, the council that is in the Bible is extremely to date because of it coming from the source of truth and life. And uh, therefore, uh, we're dealing with a scripture that many people in Christian uh, fellowships may have read before, but many times they don't really understand these things because the writings are usually not researched enough uh, because most of it's coming, uh, the council is coming from secular uh, Christian movements who of course will speak from a, a kind of a modified, uh, twisted, legalistic uh, viewpoint and not get to the meat and potatoes or the root of what that scripture is really saying. And so uh, I've already talked about this in some of Paul's writings that most of the time people are not really understanding what Paul's writing because they don't understand Paul's background and the words he's using because they're taking counsel from unknowledgeable legalist religionists uh, who really don't know because they're too buried into the civil system um, and therefore they're not seeing it. So when we're looking at the uh, scripture, you know, let the dead bury the dead found in Luke 9 verse 60, um, Jesus was talking to someone who was basically busy with the legal affairs of the civil system and those burdens that come upon them. And Jesus was putting the priority on that um, we're worried many times about things that are just going to take care of themselves, whether you touch them or not in that legal system. And uh, therefore, the state is going to do what it's going to do anyways. Uh, more than not, you're just getting in the way uh, because of your confusion between your, your private God-given Christian side and mingling in with a bunch of pagans on the legal state surname side. So when we look at the scripture in Luke uh, chapter 9, uh, we're just going to go in just a little bit before uh, that. And he said, and he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Now it would be understood that most likely someone who hadn't followed Christ wouldn't be on the spiritual journey right away, so therefore he'd be most likely in the legal side of the collective of those that are not believers and therefore part of a you know a legal regime that was operating at the time. So Jesus basically said at that point in verse 60, Jesus said unto him, Let the bed let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Now, why would he say, let the dead bury the dead? Well, of course, the Roman system was based on a concept of corporation, which is corpse, which is dead body, and then oration, speaking. So it's dead body speaking. So you're speaking for the dead when you use the title that's involved in the legal world because they don't have salvation. Their belief is that there is no redemption, there is no salvation through the blood of Christ. And Jesus was leading the way to understand what was coming. So he said, don't waste your time with legal affairs because that government will take care of the burying of that body. You're doing what it's going to be. There's nothing you can do to change anything. But it was certainly higher priority to be spiritually following Jesus to preach the kingdom that was coming that was going to bring remedy to all the earth. So why did he say that? It was because that was the world that he was surrounded with at the time, and the Roman concept was if you were a part of their legal system, you were dead. You were of the legal body corporate of the civil concept.